Now, do you see why I want to get on eBay? Besides selling stuff, I want to uh, get rich so I can buy parts or accessories off eBay. Now, this, I've got seven frames. Uh, I'm out here in a shed. The shed's not big enough for all seven bike frames. Just a small shed here. So, this is the four I could bring in. Uh, that far end one is a Canadian made bicycle. Uh, this middle mongoose. This Raleigh. Now this here, these, this is a $600 bicycle. The trouble is not the bicycle. It's China rubber. Uh, it just won't keep up with high speed when I ride fast. The rubber is just too much flaw flat uh, yeah I go with self sealing gel tubes they're good to a point but if the hose larger than one eighth the gel has a hard time sealing yeah I got I can uh, put tire liners in this but still you get this cheap rubber coming from China and this is my Schwinn now you're looking at all these frames four frames and you're saying, are they any good? The frame, oh yeah, the, the frames are amazing. The ride is, that's why I'm filming it. The rides are amazing. There's nothing wrong. Now there's, now this right here, that's what you get for mass production. I got to uh, grease that, and I, I don't want to, you can see how loose it is. Here, there, now I hope I don't, oh let me, I don't want the bike to fall. Come on, stand up. Anyway, nothing wrong with the frames. They're, they're, it take me an hour to put, per bike, it would take me an hour to put wheels, fresh cable, seat, seat post has gone on some of them, take me one hour per bike to fix up. So, four hours total. And yet, no, I'm not going to sell these. No, these are all mine. So... In the future, when I get them all fixed up, cleaned up, they're not really dirty that bad. But when I get them all top, tip-top shape in one hour each, one hour, uh, I'm going to film them again. And I ride, I've got seven in total, seven frames. The shed just too small to bring them all in because i got other storage in here. But anyway, they're all going to be fixed up. Once I fix them up, and keep them fixed up, which ain't hard, just minimal. It's just that when you first buy them new, they're just thrown together. Even Schwinn throws them together. But once I get a hold of them and fix them properly, they'll last for years. And yes, each day I'll ride, you know, I can ride any bike. Oh, I, I'll have seven bikes in my garage. So when you come to my home one of these days, I'll open, the, I'll open up my garage door and show you all. I like just just pick one one day. Maybe a Friday, ride this one. Whoops. Maybe a Monday, ride. But I love that Canadian. These are all been ridden. Yeah, they're all. I've ridden them, every one. Well, come on. Bike stand up. There we go. Come on. Sorry, I'm arguing with the bike. Uh, not hard to fix up at all. No. It just takes a little money. That's why I'm working web store, working eBay. That's why I'm trying to make a million dollars. Now, if I was a millionaire, if I was a millionaire, these still get fixed up. I don't believe in waste. Waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. Doesn't matter if I was a multi-millionaire. Take, it'll take me one hour to fix him, one hour to fix him, and just put rubber, uh, clean this up a little bit not bad not bad overall and take me one hour to fix this and just you know when I want to ride a different bike they all got a little different feel there's nothing wrong with having multiple bikes it's colorful but I'll record them again I've got seven in total will I sell any of them I doubt it I just like a collection of them but the next filming next video they'll be in mint condition Remember, a bicycle maintenance ain't hard, no.
what makes bicycles look so bad times at times it's mass production these companies don't care they just throw all oh, they care to a degree because they got their name on it Schwinn but as far as mass you know China for as mass uh, this one here is made in the United States see the United States see the United that's, that's the United States symbol uh, it's made in that's the only one made in the United States Raleigh Raleigh M80 but there's still you know it's still I consider mass production that's the trouble with mass production but once you do it once they go down and you fix them yourself the troubles are over because you fix them right mass production they just throw them together at the factories they just throw them together but when you do it yourself it's fixed for years and years when I fix this see how bad that is the frame's not hurt, just the bearings. When I fix that, that'll last me 10 years. When, when I do it, you do it. When an individual does it, they do it right. You know, if you expect all this from a factory. It's one thing I hate about mass production. They just throw it together. But after I get a hold of it, they'll last for years. Guaranteed. No, I'm keep no sale. I'm keeping all these. These are all good rides. Just the rubber. Oh, another thing, the, the spoke wheels. They make some. Uh, uh, the worst spoke wheels. The spoke wheels don't last at all. Well, part of the problem is they they don't take the speed that I ride. They're not really designed for fast speeds. I really need to go to the bike shop and pay three hundred dollars a wheel, but I can't see myself doing that. Too expensive. I'd rather just replace the wheels, cheap wheels. If I look around, I can get some maybe nice wheels, $100, get them for 50. But after I get hold of these, once they're once they're coming out of my little workshop an hour per bike, once I get done with them, they'll last for years. I'm much better than mass production.